What an event we've had today. What a meet. Here it is. We are to the final two races of the Division Three State Track Finals. Welcome back. I'm Jennifer Beck with Miles Holiday, and you are watching our broadcast of the State Track Finals in Division Three, sponsored by Wabash Mutual Telephone. Proud to be the exclusive presenting sponsor of WOSN State Track Coverage. And as always, proud to support Mercer County Athletics. Wabash Mutual Telephone knew what they were doing when they sponsored this because we have had a lot of Mercer County Athletics here, including this race. In lane three, we're watching Minster. Lane six, it's Coldwater. And lane eight, it's Marion Local. Here's who we have all of. Mogador in one, Dawson Bryan in two, Minster in three, Wayne Trace in four. Oh, sorry, I, got, I forgot to highlight them. We got to watch Wayne Trace as well. Lane five, Woodmore. Lane six, Coldwater. Lane seven, Madiera. Lane eight, Marion Local. And lane nine, Calvert. Your best time in this belongs to Wayne Trace, four minutes and .28. They are five seconds, four seconds above the field. Coldwater, the second best time, 404.30. And they are off and they are going. First runners stay in their lanes for the entire race. Remember, we've got Minster in three, Wayne Trace in four, Coldwater six, and Marion Local in eight. Unfortunately, we do not have names for any of our racers here, but we know every single one of these racers is pretty incredible. Well, I know Wayne Trace throughout the years used the Sin girls. Sydney in the, Sin, yeah. Yes, Sydney Sin and the, this relay. won relate. the 400. Mm -hmm. As they make their way around, of course, remember that they are still in a staggered spot, so it's hard to see, but it looks to me like Wayne Trace is your leader right now with a strong, strong lead here. Wayne Trace, Calvert on the outside also looking strong, but Wayne Trace and Marion Local, these two are gonna hand off Wayne Trace's first. I believe it was Rachel Stoller that took off first for Wayne Trace. Looks like Marion Local could be a close second. Don't wanna forget Minster though, who's always a contender in pretty much everything they do. <laughs> Every single race, you gotta always count on a Minster runner. Well, yesterday in the in the prelims and even previously, and I believe it was the districts, Minster was not leading, and in those races, their anchor just did it for them. That's why it's so important that you slot the right runner in the right spot. Always worry when coaches make adjustments late in the year. True, because the four runners have had a chance to get a sync with each other yep. and know how to run with each other. And look at that runner from Wayne Trace. They come in with your top time of four minutes, .28. That means every single one of these girls is likely going to go around the track in just about a minute or less. And that Wayne Trace runner, she is moving. She is ready. She is ready to go. Yeah, real clean exchange for Wayne Trace. In fact, the exchange allowed them to extend the lead. Minster took off what looked to be tied of third right now in fourth. Marion Local right behind them right now, too. Coldwater also in this race. We haven't mentioned them much, but they are also here running. Look at the Wayne Trace runner. As she is stepping away from the field. 225 right now as they head into the turn. Will Wayne Trace be able to hold on to this lead? On the last exchange, Coldwater has closed it considerably. A sizable lead has now shrunk. Wow, and the cheering is starting as they get ready to pass off. You've got Wayne Trace, and did you say that's Coldwater right there? It is, and good news for Wayne Trace, though. Sydney Sin anchoring it up. I'm going to guess that's Haley Alig from Coldwater who's anchoring as well. Another very solid runner. If it but is, what right. a battle. <laughs> that's right. You're right. Sydney Sin, your state champion in the 400. We're looking like we're going to have a, lane cha or a, a change here for third place right now, which you probably can't see a whole lot depending on what angle you've got at the moment. But that third place just finished. I mean, Trace is saying, no way. I believe no way. We got a plan. I believe that's Minster who has moved into third place. We got Wayne Trace leading. Yeah, Wayne Trace, a little bit of doubt until this anchor leg. That's why you picked the right one to run it. The closer gets it done. And they are on their feet. 
and the crowd is cheering as Wayne Trace comes across the line in first place. And take a look at her. She is on the ground. She is on the ground, and she's laying there. Wayne Trace first, cold water second. Well, 355.95, 358.53. Each one of those runners ran under one minute, well under one minute for some of them. Minster comes in fourth place. Are Wayne they? Trace first, Coldwater second. Minster fourth, and we'll wait to see where Marion Local made it. The agony of finishing that race is going to be worth it because from here on out, you will always be known as a state champion for by four team. Marion Local finishing in ninth place with a time of 403.35, and that will wrap it up for our girls 4x400 meter relay. Joining me on the infield, members of the Coldwater 4x400 meter relay team, and uh, ladies, second place finish. How does it feel? It feels really good. We've worked all season for this, and we're just happy to be here. Uh, take me through the race. How did it feel? Handoffs, pacing, everything. How'd it go? Yeah, we've definitely been working on our handoffs this year. Like, especially in practice, just trying to get that perfect timing, leaving that the right time, and just really getting those down. Noticed a, a kind of an outpouring of emotion as you guys wrapped up the, uh, the, the race. Tell me about that. Yeah, us three seniors, we've been running together since seventh grade. So this one final lap with each other around this stadium here with all of our friends and family from Coldwater, it, it couldn't be better. Well, what a way to wrap up. Runners up in the 4x4. Four four. Ladies, congratulations. Great season. Thank you. Thank you. State champion Wayne Trace Raiders in the girls 4x400 meter relay. Ladies, introduce yourself. Tell me what your name is and what grade you're in. I'm Sydney Sin. I'm a junior. I'm Kiara Bahino. I'm a junior. Rachel Stoller, a senior. Gracie Shepard, a junior. Rachel, I want to go to you. Tell me about the race. Tell me how it, how it felt. Um, it felt really good. Uh, we just knew that we were going to have to go out. You know, Everybody's going to be running some great time today, so we just had to know that we had to put it all out there and finish like we did. Did it help having a... A 400 meter state champion on the team to kind of pace things a little bit. Oh, 100 percent. You know, we knew if we got to her, she would, she'd be able to finish it off, and we'd get where we needed to. Now, what were your expectations coming into the season? Did you think state title when you started out, or what? What were your goals? Um, probably self-conceited, but yeah, we did. We got second last year, and so we knew, you know, we are right there. We did it last year. We can come back be bigger and better this year. So we were planning to get that state champ. Well, indeed you did. Ladies State Champions, congratulations. Great season. Thank you very much. Thank you.